Hi students, this is A. Mandari Kumar Rajesh. In this video, we are going to discuss a topic called angiosperms. Angio means covering, sperm means seed. So in this group of plants, the seeds are covered by or enclosed by ovary. After the post fertilization changes, the ovary will become seed and the ovary become fruit. So in angiosperms, the fruit covers the seed. That is why this plant group is named as angiosperm. Angio means covering. Sperm means seed. Then angiosperm constitute major group of plants of our earth. This angiosperm constitute major group of plants of our earth. And they adapt to terrestrial mode of life. Terrestrial mode of life. Angiosperm is the plant group. Then, the plants are major. They have adapted to terrestrial mode of life. Then, this group of plants appear during Early Cretaceous period. Sharing about 140 million years ago. So, in geological time scale, this group of plants appear during early Cretaceous period, about 140 million years ago. And in this plant group, the dominant phase is sporophyte. The dominant phase is sporophyte. The highly reduced phase is the gametophyte phase. The highly reduced phase is the gametophyte phase. And just from the, the dominant phase is the sporophyte phase. Now. Highly reduced na. Life cycle and the phase the gametophytic phase. Now I am going to tell about the general characteristic features of angiosperms. Let me tell about the saline features of angiosperm. The first point vascular tissue is well developed. That means the xylem and phloem is well developed. In xylem, it contains xylem vessels. Xylem vessels. But well, in the case of phloem, it contains sieve tubes and companion cells. So vascular tissues are well developed in angiosperm. Then flowers are produced instead of cone. gymnosperm it produces cone. The microsporophyll condensed to form male cone. The megasporophyll condensed to form female cone. And angiosperm they are able to produce flower or produce panamium. The ovules remain enclosed in the ovary. So the ovules are located above the ovary. And the ovule, ovary is enclosed in the ovary. So ovary is present in angiosperm. Pollen tubes help in fertilization. So water is not essential for fertilization. So these plants are called the siphonogamous plant angiosperms are called the siphonogamous plants they are able to produce pollen tube so pollen tube helps in the transfer of male nucleus into the embryo sac so water is not essential for fertilization double fertilization is present the endosperm is triploid so the angiosperms are able to produce the pollen grains are able to produce two male nucleus the two male nucleus enter into the embryo sac and it fuses with one male nucleus fuses with the female nucleus. Another male nucleus fuses with two central polar nuclei. So the male and female nucleuses fuse to form zygote and it develops into embryo. So male nucleus fuse two central polar nuclei and they are developed into endosperm and it is triploid in nature. Yeah, I mean, but think, two central polar nuclei, one male nucleus on the fuse results in the formation of 
triploid endosperm seringla then angiosperms are broadly classified into two classes namely dicotyledons and monocotyledons let me teach you the characteristic features of monocotyledon and dicotyledon plants first i am going to tell about the morphological features of dicot and monocot plant the leaf shows reticulate veneation in dicot in monocot it shows parallel veneation reticulate veneation means network of veneation in your dicot monocot plant kandupidikina please look at the leaf if it shows reticulate veneation it is said to be dicot If it is shows parallel veneation, it is said to be monocot. So, you know, reticular veneation and network of veneation to copy. Every fringe, 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 fringe branches are. So, you know, another reticular veneation, parallel veneation. That veneation runs parallel to each other. Or uh, grass leaf or the other thing. Another parallel veneation to copy. So, you know, then presence of two cotyledons, presence of single cotyledon. So, two cotyledons are able to produce plumule and radical. In the case of monocot, a single cotyledon gives rise to radical and plumule. Primary roots, radical persists as taproot. So it contains taproot and radical is persist. Radical on the cutis very girko and it produces as and it produces into taproot. Ani vera mariro. While in the case of monocot, radical doesn't persist and it produces fibrous root. Sally vera ne chulwanga. Then flowers are tetrameras or pentameras. Well, in the case of monocot flowers are trimeras apna na pentameras tetameras na na the calyx the whorls are multiplied into four or five for example calyx contains four sepals corolla contains four petals then andrisium and gynesium if it multiplies four 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 adha nu solluvom tetrameras nu solluvom if it is multiplied five 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 calyx five that is sepals five petals five andrisium and gynesium if it multiplies the whorls multiplies 555 the plant the flower is to be pentamerous apo trimerous na 333 calyx sepal 3 petal 3 then andrisium and gynesium 33 a multiply achana trimerous so in dicot plants pentamerous tetramerous uh, tetramerous flowers are seen or in the case of monocot trimerous flowers are seen then tricolpid pollen is present That means the pollen grain contains three furrows. Three furrows. Three furrows. Look, here there are dicot pollen grain. Like that, that tri calpet, calpet, now the furrow, not that. Calpet, now the furrow. Okay, not that. That the mono cut, like mono calpet, only one furrow is present in pollen grain. Now I am going to tell about the anatomical feature. Anatomical features, now if you 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 have to take the section of the leaf, stem, and root. Okay, now the anatomy, now the The study about the internal structure. So, you know, so the section is that. If I now talk about vascular bundles are arranged in the form of a ring in stem. Vascular bundles are arranged in form of a ring in the stem. So, in the case of monocot plant, vascular bundles are scattered in the stem. Sadhari karo. Inge ring ma jee tinga bhi rukhe. Sadhari karo. Then vascular bundles are open. Vascular bundles are closed. If cambium is present, that vascular bundles are said to be open. Cambium is absent, vascular bundles are said to be closed. Cambium is there, that vascular bundle will be open or closed. Cambium is there, that vascular bundle closed or closed. So due to the presence of cambium, secondary growth is present. Due to the cambium, secondary growth is present. And actually, cambium is a meristematic cell. It is a lateral meristem. After some time, it divides continuously. And it produces it. It gives secondary growth to the plant. Upon dicot plant, there is more secondary growth. There is more. It can increase the girth of the plant. And so the main trunk is now increase. I know. So you know, size will increase. I know. When the case of monocot, secondary growth is absent because cambium is absent. Cambium only. Is there a cutia the monocot plant? Like cutia. The other one is secondary growth. Um, cutia. The. So that's all about. the morphological and anatomical features of dicot and monocot then i am going to tell about an advanced type of classification apg angiosperm phylogenetic group seringa phylogenetic group they have mentioned the term phylogenetic phylogenetic nale that classification mainly depend on the evolutionary status seringa phylogenetic nale evolutionary 
ஸ்ட்ரென்ஸ் தான் அர்த்தம் அப்போ இந்த கிளாசிபிகேஷன் எந்த அடிப்படையாக இருக்கும் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் எவல்யூஷன் ஸோ இப்போ நம்ம ஃபாலோ பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கிறது என்னன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பெந்தமன் புக்கர் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் இட் இஸ் அ நேச்சுரல் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் மெயின்லி திஸ் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த மார்ஃபாலஜிக்கல் கேரக்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃப்ளார் தென் அனாட்டமிக்கல் கேரக்டர்ஸ் இதை தான் பார்த்துருப்பாங்க எவல்யூஷனரி கேரக்டர்ஸை பார்த்துருக்க மாட்டாங்க இன் நேச்சுரல் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் அதே பைரோஜெனடிக் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் எதை பார்ப்பாங்க எவல்யூஷனரி சேஞ்சஸை பார்ப்பாங்க ஸோ அக்கார்டிங் டு ஆண்ட்ரியூஸ் பம் பைரோஜெனடிக் குரூப் தே டஸ் இன் மென்ஷன் த டைகா டஸ் அ மோனோ பைரோஜெனடிக் சாரி பைரோஜெனடிக் குரூப் சரிங்களா தே மென்ஷன் த பிளான் அஸ் அ தே கிளாசிஃபை த பிளான்ஸ் இன் டு டைகா சரிங்களா இன் டு செவரல் கிளாஸ் சச்சஸ் ஏலி மேக்னோலிட்ஸ் and you die cards now in the pati detail la upcoming videos la chulla i am going to discuss this topic in detail in my upcoming videos so that's all about today's video if you have any doubt please let me know thank you very much for watching this video thank you